in an incredible feat of airmanship and planning, a pair of Ukrainian Mi-24 attack helicopters slipped across the border with Russia on Friday morning and lobbed 25-pound unguided rockets at a fuel depot in Belgorod, igniting a blaze that burned through the daylight hours. It's not the first time Ukrainian forces have struck military facilities in Belgorod, which lies just 25 miles north of the border and 50 miles from the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. Russian troops have besieged Kharkiv since early in Russia's six-week-old assault on Ukraine. Three days before the Mi-24 raid, the Ukrainian army struck a separate depot in Belgorod with tactical ballistic missiles. But the Friday raid was special. Not only for its impact on the Kremlin's fuel stocks near Kharkiv, but also for its psychological effect. A member of Russia's emergency services wasn't shy about the damage the Ukrainian mill crews inflicted. There are 16 tanks in the seat of the fire, the official told state media. The fire occurs in eight tanks with fuel and gasoline, occupying 2,000 cubic meters, there is a threat of the fire spreading to another eight. The Kremlin no doubt can make good the material losses. The damage to Russia's morale could last longer. It was an open question, in the days leading up to the Russian invasion, whether Ukraine's helicopter force would play any meaningful role in the fighting or even survive the initial Russian bombardment. It survived. Analysts have confirmed, via photos and videos, just two losses among Ukraine's pre-war fleet of around 30 each active Mi-8 transports and Mi-24 gunships. And on Friday, two of the twin-seat Mi-24s flew potentially a hundred miles or more to lob S-8 rockets at the Belgorod depot. It's hard to understate how daring the raid was. The Mi-24s flew through airspace that, in theory, is heavily defended. If other forces supported the gunships, it wasn't apparent in the dramatic videos of the raid that circulated online as the fires still burned. The mill crew's tactics were apparent. They flew low, under cover of darkness, staying below the horizon of air defense radars. They got close and let fly brute simple, unguided rockets requiring no guidance by forces on the ground. 